This screencast will explain how to access and complete pre-labs. Pre-labs need to be completed prior to coming to each lab. So first you have to determine what is my lab for the week. If you get look at your course information and syllabus, and that's what we're looking at here, if you go to your schedule, you'll see for week one, the lab exercises are language of anatomy exercise one and organ systems overview exercise two so now we know what lab we're going to have during week one so now we want to go to blackboard to access the pre-lab when you go to blackboard you'll always come into the announcements page so this is what you'll see when you come into blackboard every time you'll see the banner which is basically the front cover of our textbook if we want to access resources for lab, we want to go to the main menu and click on the lab tab. So let's do that. And here we have exercise, the folder for exercise one, the language of anatomy and exercise two, organ systems overview. That's exactly the lab we're looking for. So we'll click on that folder. All of the resources for those exercises will be found in that folder. And the pre-lab is the very first item. So I'll click on pre-lab, and now we're in the pre-lab. You'll first go into your score center. Now your score center will look a little different from what you're seeing here. This is the score center for the instructor. Click on view lesson, and then you're in. You'll see at the top right, journal anatomy and physiology pre-labs, and you'll see the name of the uh, exercises as shown here. Here are our context tense page, and you'll just go systematically through each one. You'll find each page contains videos, which you'll need to watch. And typically those videos are followed by exercises or activities, rather. Let's go to the next page. There are no activities shown here. So on the next page, here are a series of videos you'll need to watch. I provide the how much time each uh, for each video so that you can plan accordingly and then following the videos are exercises and the purpose of the uh, activities the purpose of the activities is just to help you practice the information that was presented in the videos now uh, you will receive a score for these activities and you can redo the activities over and over again if you want a better score. However, you will get full credit for each pre-lab if you just complete them. Even if you completed them and only got a score of 50%, you will receive full credit. What I want to make sure is that you're watching the videos and you're completing the activities because that will provide you with the background information you need to work efficiently in lab and to be successful in lab. As always, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact me, your instructor.